Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today I'm gonna to show you how to root your Oppo Find 7A. Okay, first, uh, you must be using Windows PC just because the instructions that I'm gonna do are for Windows. Um, make sure also that your device is at least 50% charged so that it doesn't accidentally die in the middle of doing one of these steps. Then you're gonna open a new file explorer window and you should see a CD drive, it looks like, for Oppo. Double click that, hit yes, and wait for it to install the drivers. And you can download the recovery image from here. And we're gonna save that actually inside our new Android SDK Windows platform tools. Okay, then you're gonna plug the Find 7 in via USB. Next, you're gonna download the Slim SDK. By clicking on that link there, it'll take you to Mega. Hit download. And save that to your desktop. Then, once it's saved, you're gonna right click it and hit Extract here. And you should now have an Android SDK Windows folder with platform tools inside there. And we're going to unplug the device. And we're also going to turn it off. And then we're going to hold volume up and power at the same time and keep holding it till you see very faintly fast boot on the screen. Then we're going to actually plug in the device back to USB. Here we're going to navigate to our desktop, Android SDK, Windows, platform tools, uh, and then you should have your recovery.image file. To make things easier, if it doesn't just say recovery.img, we're gonna make it say that. So, rename it so that it becomes that. Then we're gonna hold shift on our keyboard and right click a blank space and select I'm gonna hold shift on our keyboard and right click and select open command window here. Then we're gonna type fast boot flash recovery recovery dot img and hit enter. And once it says flashed in the command prompt, we're going to unplug the device and hold volume down and power now at the same time until the device vibrates. And let go. And it should boot into our custom recovery. Once it does, we're just instantly gonna go to backup and then swipe to backup. And this will perform a backup of our entire system just in case we ever wanna to return to stock or in case something goes wrong that you do down the road. Once it's all done, tap Reboot System. If this pops up, uh, you can actually swipe to install this. And it should root your phone for you automatically. Then once it reboots, you can pull down your notification and you'll see Super SU Installer. Then tap Play. Tap Update. Tap Accept. Once that's done, you should be able to open your app drawer and you should see Super SU in there. You now have uh, root access and a custom recovery. For those of you who weren't fortunate enough to get the, you know, root your device from uh, recovery mode with the swiping thing, um, you can do it manually by plugging in the device. Then simply downloading the Super SU manually from here. Download the infected file. It's not infected, it just likes to tell you that. Save it to your desktop. And then we're going to open File Explorer. We're gonna open our Oppo device, internal storage. Scroll all the way down to the bottom so we have some blank space. And we're gonna take our update SU and transfer that into here. Do not unzip it, just leave it as a zip file. Then you can unplug your device and power it down. And turn back on by holding down volume, down, and power. And keep holding until it vibrates, then let go. And when it boots into recovery, you're gonna tap install and then scroll down until you find that update dot zip. You're gonna tap that, then swipe to install it. When it's done, you'll basically just tap reboot again and system if it requires it, otherwise it might just say reboot. 
and then it'll reboot into Android. And when it reboots, you should again be able to go into your application drawer and see Super SU. You're rooted and have a custom recovery. And there you go, now you're rooted and you have a custom recovery image. Um, so the next thing you probably would want to do is flash a custom ROM, uh, which I personally think this phone can really benefit from because um, the software is not the quickest um, out of the box. Uh, one thing that everybody really likes to put on it is Cyanogen Mod, which is the software, um, to give you a short explanation, is the software that is on the Oppo Find 7, which is the bigger brother to the Oppo Find 7A um, that everybody just kind of likes better than ColorOS. So uh, if you want to check that out, you can click the link below uh, to be taken to this procedure, and then there'll be a link there for how to install Cyanogen Mod on your Find 7A.